Wow. Thank you once again for your time and thank you once again for joining us at today at Matoka TV. All right, today we'll be showing to you once again the short clip of Pastor Pascal Tokode that will shock you. This clip will bless your life so much. All right, over to you, sir. Want to enter into your inheritance eventually? There's a layer of offer that will come from, from people who you are not thinking. It will come from quarters you never imagined. There's no need going that far. Let's fight Goliath first. Kill your bears. Kill your bears. says they said it thinking he cannot come there. What that means is that they said it also knowing the ability of the blind. And have you come to fight before it was blind people? And when you think ah, it's an over, I don't know what we call it in football. It's an over, over, ah, ah, I'm forgetting. It's a walkover. And then battle started. <laughs> And the people that came out, the other ones were having party. They were enjoying themselves. There was no time. Just gather all the blind people, take them. Do you know they fought David so much? There was so much damage. If you read down the scripture, so much damage in Israel that David eventually won. Eventually. And he ordered that till he dies, no blind person should come into the palace. Whether he's an Israelite. And that no lame person should. Well, it doesn't matter where he's from. If he's blind and lame, let them stay outside. And he doesn't want to see them till he dies. Until he died, there was no blind person in the palace. When David became king, they had to export Mephibosheth. If you remember Mephibosheth, one of the, they sent him away. Because David doesn't want to see them again. Those kind of people, these people dealt with David. So David is a prime and it was after this war first that he began to build a real structure, a real superstructure that he considers his house. If you go to Genesis chapter 49, see Genesis chapter 49, take me to, okay, let's read from verse 1, maybe 1 to 5 or 1 to 6 quickly. We don't have all the time anymore. And Jacob, this was a prophet, called his sons and said, gather together that I may tell you what shall befall you in the last days. Verse 2, Gather together and hear ye sons of Jacob and listen to Israel, your father. Reuben, you are my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity and the excellency of power. Unstable as water, you shall not excel. Unstable as water, a double-minded man. Unstable as water. He's here today. He's there tomorrow. What do you really believe? Say, you shall not excel. This instability that you are losing in your heart, this Shaky, 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 shaky. Will not, it will not help us. I'm saying all this because I want us to begin to make real moves now. Because you went up to your father's bed. Then you defiled it. He went up to my couch. Keep, keep going. Verse 4, verse 5. Simon and Levi are brothers. Instruments of cruelty 
and in their dwelling place. Let not my soul enter their council. Let not my honor be united to the assembly. For in their anger they slew a man, and in their self will they have strong an ox. Keep going. This is not where I'm going to. I want to find David. Cost, I think David should be verse 10. Is it verse 10? Cost be their anger, for it is fierce, and their wrath, for it is cruel. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. Yes. Judah, you are he whom your brother shall praise. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. So Judah has a positive prophecy upon his life. He says, you, your brothers shall praise you and your hands will be in the neck of your enemies. This is telling Judah that a bulk of your life will be warfare. Yes, although praise will come to you, but there will be so much battle. You will always be with your enemies. Your hands will press their neck. You press it like, like, what's, like, <laughs> like one man in Lagos that is contesting for presidency. May his neck be pressed. <laughs> Judah is a lion's well. From the prey, my soul, he have gone up. He bows down and he lies down as a lion. And as a lion, who shall rouse him? Look at verse 10. This is the scepter. In other words, the person that has chosen the path of warfare, the person that by covenant should do battles, is the person that the scepter will rest upon. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, neither the lawgiver, until Shiloh comes. And you will think the prophet is just talking. That Jacob was just making a careless statement. At the end of the day, we saw the politics of the supernatural playing out. And the politics played out so well that God in the generations of Judah pinpointed a man, David. There was something special about the house of David. Basically three things about the entire house. First is the throne of David. The second is the strength of David. And the third... I've talked about his, his, his throne. I've talked about the strength he has. And I think I wrote it all down in my book. Oh, God. We don't, that's actually what I wanted to teach us today. And the third is the key of David. Because there's something the Bible says concerning the key of David. That we need to... These are the implements. The implements that made the house of David the house... The, they are subtopics on their own. Because why I read this scripture is because I needed to show you where the scepter of the house of David came from. The scepter, of, you know David is the only person in the Old Testament that operated as a priest. The reason is because he has a throne. He has a throne stronger than every throne on ground. His throne was operating from heaven. The Lord said to my Lord, sit down at my right hand. There is a throne he's operating from. He has been there. He has been walking from there. And on the basis of that throne, the scepter shall not depart from Judah. He's still in charge till tomorrow. And that was where David come from. The throne of David is a real throne. A re if you carry the chair on ground, there is another chair in heaven that will still be fighting. You can't dethrone David because where he's enthroned is not on ground. His throne came out of a covenant. He's a king, a master king, a plumb line king. A king by ordination God has appointed for Israel. And if the Lord says we are the house of David, that's what God is saying. Let me tell you this. You will not believe me, but watch out as we keep unfolding. You know, God will speak and it will be like it's not true. When R.C. and Oka was an infant, a real infant. Hope you know who an infant is. Maybe a few days old. A few months old. The Lord had told us, before any of us marry, that we should start praying for our children. I don't know if you remember. He says, because these people are going to occupy the throne of civilization. And when the Lord was speaking to us concerning this, we were not married. Yes, no, when I say not married, I mean... Wow. Thank you so much for your time. Um listen to Pastor Pascal Tukode in short clip and I hope this blesses your life so much and once again don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe 
and permanent notification from more updates from Matoka TV. All right, and remember, God bless you.